Hi, Dean from Leisure Travel Vans. Today we're going to have a look at the 2014 Libero. Now this is one versatile motorhome. You can take it for coffee with your friends, take it into a big city area, you can take it RVing. Let's have a look at this one great motorhome. This is one great versatile wide body van. If you need a van that can take four people, sleep four people, you want to go in big city, you want to go RVing, you want to pull 5,000 pounds, this baby can do it all. I'm tired of being in the big city, shopping, spending too much money, dinner, I'm eating too much, I'm getting a little heavy. It's time to take this baby out and let's go RVing. Now this is more like it. From the big city, now back out to the wilderness. The wide body van, 2014 Libero. This is one great motorhome. Of course, we build it on a Chevy cutaway chassis, the express version, 12,300 pound GVWR. It's got a V8 motor in it, 323 horsepower, produces 373 foot pounds of torque, so you can pull up to 5,000 pounds. It's got a six speed Allison transmission. It is one beautiful ride. You gotta take one out for a ride to appreciate the Chevy smoothness. This is one great body design. You have to see it to appreciate it. This is all fiberglass, kind of built like a boat would be that goes in the ocean. So all fiberglass body construction, sexy curved glass, you gotta love that. We go full paint on here. We don't use any deckling, and it's just got beautiful lines. It's 25 feet, four inches in length, so it's nice and small, eight feet wide, so you got a full wide body van, can sleep four people, can drive four people, all with seat belts, that's great. And look at these compartments. All aluminum, handcrafted, they feel great. Here's our detachable 30 amp cord that plugs into here. How easy is that? We've also got our optional generator, gas generator right there. And look at this, beautiful pull out, deep cycle, six volt batteries, all done on a tray so they're easy to check. I love that. We have a six gallon hot water tank, gas and electric which is very nice. For 2014, we also have an optional tankless hot water system, which is an option. We also have our 30 amp connection here for our uh, electrical plug-in, shore power. And if we work our way down, you can see here we've got our dual wheels, both sides. A couple nice little features here is we do rust protection on all of our units, and we do spray foam insulation anywhere where we have noise. You can see this, this is all spray foam insulated, that way you don't get any banging of rocks. We also spray foam all the tanks underneath so that these rocks don't damage them when they're going down the road. Great little feature to have. We've also got an air assist system on the uh, back axles so we can adjust our air pressure from the front cab area which I'm going to show you later so you can make the ride softer or harder depending on if you're fully loaded or not fully loaded. Let's have a look at our service module just like a big class A motorhome just all condensed a little bit smaller very nice little service center of course we got our outside shower so hot and cold running water for the outdoorsmen out there that want to clean fish outside you got little pets you can clean their paws right here they don't have to go inside of course we got our fresh water connection we've got our propane fill remote propane fill nice little feature there we've got a light here for turning it on and off we've also got a propane disconnect switch if you go on ferries or tunnels you can turn off your propane we've also got our dump tanks right here we've got our gray and black tank always dump the black first and the gray as everybody knows and of course we've got our cable connection and our satellite connection and of course we've got a black water flush and how easy is this our sewer hose is built right in here boom pulls out how easy is that even my honey could do it beautiful little back area of course we've got our backup camera all fiberglass body construction once again of course have a look at this we've got a 5,000 pound receiver hitch here and we've got our seven prong connector for trailer towing which is very nice and of course look at this we've got storage we can open up this for those of you that like the golf put some golf bags in there lawn chairs whatever you want to put another nice little feature built into the mask of course we've got a rear window for those of you that like to look out the window when you're backing up and don't want to use your camera but this one's got both camera and window we're on the passenger side or the camp side on the Libero. And as you can see, we've got a beautiful power awning, which I'm gonna show you in a second. Of course, our full fiberglass body construction, our sexy frameless glass windows. But look at the storage area, woo! Storage, this one has the optional electric sofa. If you go with the full-time bed area, which is standard, you have a little more storage underneath the bed. And then of course, look at this underneath. I love these locks. Feel all those locks, can you hear that? They lock into place, nothing's coming out, beautiful. 
Look, nice big storage area down here. Of course, beautiful aluminum handcrafted doors. Very, very nice. Of course, on this side, we've got the dual wheels. On the other side, full fiberglass fender skirts. More storage. Hello. What have we got in here? How about some more storage? Lots of storage area. This is a great awning. This is called a box awning. It's all enclosed in aluminum so it doesn't get damaged when you're going down the road. And it doesn't allow the sun to eat the canvas either because the canvas is inside the aluminum casing. And look how easy it is to bring it out. One press of a button, boom, power awning comes out. How great is this awning? Seven feet in width and it's over 12 feet in length and for our metric friends that's uh four meters and plus this awning's got two great features number one you can put the, the legs down and tent peg them into the ground or you can hook them into the motorhome let me show you how that works So on a nice calm day, you can tent peg it down. Today it's pretty windy out here, so you know what? If I'm out camping, I'm gonna lock it into the motorhome so that the wind's not gonna move it around. And as you can see, it's pretty simple to do. One person can put the awning up and down. Plus for 2014, we added a real cool feature. Now you don't have to carry lanterns with you or lights, so it saves you storage space in the motorhome because the LED lights are built right in. And look at this, I am all lit up today. Just up front in the cab area, of course, we've got our swivel seats, swivel around, which is very nice. We've also got our carpet in the cab area. And remember that, we always put rubber backing on it. That way it doesn't slide around in the cab area. Another little great feature, we have a little pot light when you get in and out of the cab area. Very nice little touch. Look at this beautiful curved fiberglass door. Now that is beautiful. Power entry step and hello, sliding screen door. Oh. You gotta love that. Another really cool feature, obviously you wanna have your door open when you have your screen door. It only makes sense. Look at this, we got a little lock in here. Lock this in place. Now the wind can't lock my door and I can leave my screen door open. If you thought the outside is beautiful, and it is because this is the touring sedan of the RV industry, come on inside because this is where it all happens. How great is this? Look how wide this door is. Even I can fit in and out of it. I like that. And look, grab handle, in and out. Look at this, battery disconnect switch. We're dry camping right now, so we're using our batteries to run the motorhome. So I'm going out for a walk at night. I wanna leave all the lights on. Look at this, boom, turn off the lights, go for a walk, come back, turn the lights back on. Of course, we've got our LED lights throughout the entire coach and lots of them. And look at this, on a dimmer switch, set the mood. Another little great feature is we have a little exterior light switch. You can see how it turns red. That means that I have my lights on on the outside inside the compartments. Boom, I can turn them off. So I can leave all your lights on turn and control it right here. Ah, nice little feature. And how about this? Beautiful ultra leather leisure travel van coat hanger. Hang up your jackets and stuff when you're coming in and out of the motorhome. Hey, we're in the cab area of the 2014 Libero in our Chevy chassis and nothing rides like a Chevy. You got to take one out for a ride because it is fun to drive. Six speed Allison transmission, lots of horsepower, lots of pounds of torque. It's got some great features up front. Of course, we have an air assist suspension system on the chassis where you can add and subtract air pressure on the rear airbags to soften the ride up or make it a little heavier if you're towing a boat or whatever you want to tow because you can pull up to 5,000 pounds with this bad boy. Got power mirrors, air conditioning, cruise control. It's got all the conveniences you'd want to have in a motorhome. Plus, we got our entertainment system right up front here, and this is one great little entertainment system. It does DVD player, CD player, it has satellite radio, it does AM, it does FM. It also has a full GPS system, so if you're lost, you can find out where you are and get yourself unlost. And you can also program it to come visit us at the factory here in Winkler, Manitoba, which would be great. Plus, it's got Bluetooth for my phone so when I'm driving down the road I don't have to talk and text at the same time. And it's got streaming Bluetooth so I can send my songs right to my stereo system. How much fun is that? 
We've got a battery boost system. So if um, my chassis batteries were to drain down for some reason, you can boost them off the house batteries so I'm never gonna be stranded anywhere. Another great little feature, we got a little radio switch so we can turn the radio off and on, which means that we only pull power from the house batteries. We never pull from the chassis batteries. And of course, I got a little camera switch here. So if I'm driving down the road and I have a tow vehicle, a boat, a car, whatever I'm towing, I can press the button and it will show me my tow vehicle in behind me so I know that it's safe and secure. Of course, we've got a beautiful curtain that goes across the entire motorhome on both sides so nobody can see me at night and they probably wouldn't want to anyways. And another great feature, we've got ultra leather. We reupholster all the seats in ultra leather, synthetic man-made leather. Doesn't get hot, doesn't get cold, doesn't crack, no mildew. This is a great product to have. It's expensive, but you gotta have it in the RV industry because it is perfect for the RV industry. Of course, we've got deep French stitching. And of course, both of our chairs turn and swivel. Let's have a look at the rest of the motorhome. Okay, now we're in the libero house, as we like to call it at the factory. And of course, we've got the world famous unbelievable spinning table that'll go in any direction you want and you can have dinner for four or five people because our two chairs turn and swivel this is also going to make it into a full bed of course it's all done in ultra leather one inch memory foam underneath Ooh, comfortable a couple other great features of course we have four seat belts on a libero it'll sleep four as well for a wide body van and it's comfortable for sleeping that is a great feature to have of course we do two wood finishes we do cherry and of course beautiful sierra maple and as you can see here we've got the new for 14 maple table and of course sleeping for four and let me show you how easy this is to make into a beautiful double bed 48 by 82 inches long okay it's very simple just push the table down we have a beautiful little diagram for the cushions on how to make into a bed. That's a very nice little feature. And look at this, this is very simple. We've got a little piece of wood that comes across. This comes out, locks into place, and then bang, I'm gonna make this into a bed now using the cushions from the dinette area. How's that for a bed? 48 inches by 82 inches, one inch memory foam, all done in ultra leather. Oh, super comfortable. Lots of room for two people. Why not? Then boom, it's back into a dining room area for breakfast in the morning. Perfect, look at this, a little storage underneath. Full drawer extension glide, solid wood. Let's have a look up front, look at this, storage space. Do you need some storage space inside? Because we have some, look at this, nice and deep. Of course, all solid wood. We pre-drill all the wood, we screw it all together so that it won't vibrate when we're going down the road. And we build it strong, very strong. If I could do a chin up, I would. Look at this, solid wood cabinets, all curved. Very nice, more storage on this side. I love the positive locks, they lock in place. Driving down the road, they won't rattle open. More storage on this side. Very nice, double struts so the door doesn't hit you in the head. Look at that, lots of storage space. And once again, we can have your choice between maple or cherry wood. As we work our way back, of course, we got a little 12 volt plug over here for connecting. If you have a cell phone or a little computer you wanna plug in, of course, LED lights, touch pad vinyl ceiling, all with insulation so that it keeps you nice and warm or nice and cool in hot weather. And of course, look at this, our beautiful opening skylight. How beautiful is that? Yes, let the real fresh air in. And you're worried about bugs, you say, hey, yeah, that's great. We have a lot of bugs in my area here. I can fix that. I got a built-in screen. Well, what about at night, Dean? I don't want the sunlight coming in the morning. Okay, I can fix that. How beautiful is that? New for 2014 on the windows. Of course, we've got our solid wood valances, which we've always had. But look at this MCD shade, so daytime. Oh, nice. And of course, nighttime, full privacy. And of course, on the outside, we've got our curved glass. And of course, the window opens all the way up. It's got a little sliding screen door so the bugs can't get you. Doesn't get much better than that. We're gonna have a look at the gallery area. Let's look down first here, look at this. Beautiful curved cabinets, new handles. Oh, very nice. And whoa, what do we got here? This is a pull-out pot and pan drawer. Yes, it is. How perfect is that? How about a reverse curved maple door or cherry wood, whichever way you want to go. And have a look at this. Pull-out pantry. Very nice. Got to have a pull-out pantry. And then, of course, down low, we've got lots of drawers, full drawer extension glides, stainless steel, full water filtration for 2014. Nice little feature, but look at this. Nice big cabinets open up all the way. And they, of course, solid wood, lock solidly. Above the galley area, of course, we've got 
lots of cabinets, and a nice little feature that we do, we put shelves in here so you've got double cabinet, and of course, solid wood. Well, what else would you want in a libero? And look at this, this galley is a galley that Rachel Ray would be excited to cook on. Not that I've ever watched the show, but apparently she's a good cook. But look at this, deep stainless steel sink. Need a cutting board? Because I got a cutting board on the back side of it. Perfect. And look at this, garbage can built right in, all solid wood. And of course, we only use Corian countertops. And this is the private collection Corian. And we use a half inch thick, Corian throughout the entire countertop. And then have a look over here, two burner stove, spark ignition, so it automatically sparks up. And then look at this, built-in spice rack. What a great galley this is. Now we're on the other side of the galley, and of course, look at this big hanging closet right here. And look at this down here, a place for your shoes so you don't put them in the step well, you won't fall over them. Very nice. Jackets, more storage. And then let's have a look at this. Got our convection microwave. Nice big convection microwave. That'll broil, that'll cook, bread, popcorn, whatever you want it to do, it will do it. And of course, look at this, our big 6.3 to seven cubic foot three-way fridge. So gas, electric, and 12 volt. And when you wanna make it into a seven cubic foot fridge, you just simply remove the freezer compartment. So if you're day camping, remember this motorhome can go anywhere. So let's say you wanna go day tripping, you're going golfing with your friends, you wanna take a few extra Cokes with you, you can fill the fridge up full of drinks. We're still in the galley area. We still got two more features on the galley. Look at this, a little more storage down below and plus something that Gordon Ramsay would be very proud of. How about a pull-out pantry? That's two pull-out pantries, not just one, two pull-out pantries. Couple nice great features on the libero for 2014. Thermostatically controlled fan that runs 12 volt. So if you're dry camping, you can fire it up, pull the warm air out or bring some cold air in because it's reversible. And of course we've got our thermostat right here and that controls your, your furnace and it controls your air conditioner. And the air conditioner of course is a 15,000 BTU air conditioner with a heat pump so you can control the heat pump, the air conditioner and just the fan. And of course on the libero, we have ducted air conditioning in the unit so that gets the air moving throughout the entire coach. A lot of RV manufacturers, the air conditioner just blows cold air in one area. Well, we got 25 feet of cold air we're gonna move all around. Storage is important on any RV. This great wide body van has got lots of exterior storage and of course, lots of interior storage. Have a look at this. Great big drawers, full drawer extension glides, solid wood construction, all done in maple or cherry. And then plus you're gonna need a place to hang your clothes. Nice little dressing mirror as well for when you're getting ready in the morning. And of course we have an optional electric sofa in this unit. This is the switches for making it into a bed area. I'm gonna show you that in a second. But here's some nice little things. We've got our 600 watt inverter that'll run all of your electronics. And of course we've got our monitoring system for our tanks. We've got our water heater switch because this one has the standard electric gas hot water tank. We've got our water pump. And of course we've got our generator here. It's an option four kilowatt Onan generator, so that'll run all of your electronics. You got lots of power, four kilowatts of power. It's got an hour meter and it runs off the gas fuel tank. And when you get past a quarter tank, it'll automatically shut down. So you never have to worry about running out of fuel when your generator is running. Pre-wired for solar panel up top. We also have an optional solar panel and we also have pre-wire for our satellite dish on the roof. So those things are all right here in case you get them as an option. Okay, now we're in the living room area, the bedroom area, of course. On a libero, things are multifunctional. I love the optional electric sofa because it gives you two living areas. It's hard to believe that we're 25 feet long, eight feet wide. We have all of this room, entertainment up front for dinner. You can also have guests over in the living room area with the electric sofa, plus it makes into a full bed. We've got a beautiful little privacy curtain that comes across. And of course, we've got our TV right here, and the TV will slide and go all the way up front. So if you wanna watch TV from the front, you can, or you can watch TV in the back area. And of course, it makes into a bed area. Let me show you how easy that is. One press of a button, bring our bed down. How simple was that? Press of a button, I go into a 54 inch by 82 inch bed, all done in memory foam, all done in ultra leather, and super comfortable. Plus I have a walk area into the bathroom area. Look at the size of this. And it's super comfortable to sleep on. This is one great multi-purpose area 
when you use the electric sofa option. Now we do offer a standard bed with a six inch ceiling mattress, which is very comfortable for those that want a full time bed all the time. And it's very comfortable to sleep on, or you have the optional electric sofa, but this multi-purpose area is unbelievable. Of course, we got our MCD shades, solid wood valences, and look at more cabinets. Once again, solid wood, double struts in the door, positive locks on all the cabinets. I love the sound of solid wood. Never get tired with that. A little more storage up here. Very, very comfortable. Great little area. Watch TV, sleep, it does it all. How great is this? An actual bathroom in a 25 foot motorhome that you can actually use even if you're a tall person. Stand up shower, I got my shoes still on. And as everybody knows, I'm either six or six three. It depends. I haven't started shrinking yet. Look at this. Nice little door shower door china toilet window shade on the window plus look up you've got a vent and then look at this a built-in medicine cabinet all solid wood it's got a mirror and of course underneath the sink full water filtration through the entire coach that's new for 2014 solid corian countertops and look at this recessed sink how nice is this bathroom? This is an actual bathroom in a small motorhome. The 2014 Libero is one great motorhome. Goes from big city back out to the wilderness, just like that. You need to carry four people, you can. You wanna use it as a driver in the city, you can. You probably could drive it to work if you wanted to and take three of your friends with you. If you've never seen one in person, you gotta get to a leisure travel van dealer. Give us a call at the factory, 1-877-992-9906. Check out our website at www.leisurevans.com, but you gotta take one of these out and see it in person. Dean from Leisure Travel Vans.